Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we're going to talk about Russian oil. The United States has decided to stop buying it. When this subject came up initially, I expressed my uh, concerns about it, about this particular strategy. I talked about how it was going to impact the average Russian over there who has nothing to do with it. It's also going to have pretty significant impacts here. Now, at time of filming, I'm not aware of anything that Biden has up his sleeve. I know that there was a meeting between oil execs from the U.S. and OPEC, I want to say last night. Don't know what happened. Maybe some kind of deal was reached, and that's why this announcement was made today. But I don't know that. Absent Biden having something up his sleeve, um, this is going to hurt in the U.S., Gas prices are going to soar. My entire life, I have noticed a behavior. And that behavior is that normally a pretty good indicator of people's financial security. If you are somebody who doesn't fill your tank up all the way when you go to the gas station under normal circumstances, right now, you need to start thinking about uh, carpooling, if that's a possibility or walking, riding a bike, um, because gas prices are going to go up. When you have to drive, make sure you're doing everything at once. Plan your trips, plan your week, because it's not just gas prices. When the gas prices go up, transportation costs goes up, costs of other products goes up. This is incredibly likely, and it's it's going to hurt. Um... Now, if you are somebody who, under normal circumstances, fills your tank up all the way, first, understand, you may not be able to do that. That may change. Uh, if you, you're on the line uh, of that behavior, you may start putting in 30 bucks. Um, if you are somebody who can afford this, and, and it's it's it isn't going to drastically alter your behavior. It still needs to. Don't drive as much. Figure something out. Plan your trips. Do all of the same behaviors. It's just not as pressing for you. But if you do it, it lowers demand. Lower demand means prices don't go up as much. That's how you can help the people who, uh, who can't fill their tank up every time they go. This is a time where social responsibility, community responsibility is going to matter. Um, when you're going to a, when you're going to go to the grocery store, see if somebody needs to go with you. Um, carpooling in functions that you know everybody needs to do, see if anybody wants to do it with you at the same time. We're going to have to cut demand. That's as far as what you can do as an individual person, it's lower usage and cut demand, which means drive less. Figure out a way to help in that regard. And I know, well, I can't do it this way. Yeah, I mean, I know it's going to be annoying for a lot of people. You know, for somebody like me, way out in the middle of nowhere, carpooling, it doesn't necessarily make sense when you first think about it because somebody has to drive five miles to get to you. But from there, you're going to drive 20 miles into town. Better one car than two. Maybe start to share some of those expenses. You, we're going to have to start thinking about each other at the local level to, uh, to alleviate this. Because absent some deal, some, some move that nobody's aware of yet, at least that I'm not, this is going to hurt. The only thing that I'm aware of that, that is an option is releasing from the strategic reserves, which doesn't really seem like a great idea in a time of heightened tensions. Um, if that's going to happen, it's going to have to be done little by little. And I don't think it's going to make that big of an impact. So this is, uh, 
this is something that you need to be, be prepared for. And you've got to start thinking about it now because gas prices will probably shoot up through the roof maybe by tonight. You know, I know people are saying, well, they're already through the roof. No, nah, they're, they're not yet. They're not yet. Um, they're going to go up more. This, the reason the prices went up was speculation of something like this. Now that it has occurred, it's going to go up even more. It's time to start thinking about your neighbor. It's time to start cooperating. It's time to start doing what you can to reduce your usage. And therefore, decrease demand and help control costs. That's all you can do as an individual. If you want more ideas, start looking at uh, stuff geared towards environmentalists. You know, they, they put out stuff all the time on how to cut your usage, cut your carbon footprint, and, and have suggestions on different ways you can do it. It's the same thing. So whatever they're saying will protect the environment is also going to reduce usage, reduce demand, reduce costs. Um, you know, starting in 2020, <laughs> it's been a real uh, rough couple of years doesn't look like we're going to get a reprieve anytime soon. So y'all uh, y'all definitely start trying to figure out a way to work together. You're going to need to. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.